Hello guys, welcome to Linux Techie channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to install Putty on Ubuntu Linux. As we all know, Putty is the most popular SSH and Telnet client. It is used to connect remote Unix and Linux systems using a protocols like SSH, SFTP, Telnet and the serial console. So to install Putty on Ubuntu Linux, we must have a sudo user with admin rights, internet connectivity or a locally configured app repository server. So at the time of creating this video tutorial, we have Ubuntu 22.04. So we have tested this processor on Ubuntu 22.04. So let's jump into the installation step. So to install Ubuntu, we need to run a couple of apt command. So open the terminal. Run the first sudo command. And sudo apt update it will update your local package index okay good now run sudo apt install putty hyphen y so it will install putty along with its dependencies so it will take hardly a minute so let's wait okay great so this is installed you can verify its putty version using a putty command putty siphon hyphen version so Putty version is 0.76. So we will test this Putty installation. We will try to connect remote Linux system using this Putty. So to access the Putty, to launch the Putty, uh, go to the activity, type here Putty, click on Putty SSH client icon. It will open up the Putty GUI. Okay. Let's try to connect our one of the Linux system. So for that, you have to specify the host name or the IP address in this field and then the port. So by default, SSH works on port 22. Specify the username. Let's say in my case, it is Linux Techie. The IP remote IP address, it is 192.168.1.2. Click on OP. Open. So this will prompt you to accept the server's key. If you click on accept, it will be saved into the putty cache. So click on accept. Great. Now specify the remote Linux key uh, user password. I am connected to my remote Linux system which is RHL9. Mm. Great. Type exit here to disconnect the session. You want to save the, uh, the session for the future reference. So in the host name entries specify the username at the rate remote IP address 192.1.2 and uh, name of your session so in my case I am putting it as db uh, rhl9 click on save select the session name and click on load and if you double click on it you can see it will prompt you the password specify the password here great so we are able to connect it using our saved session. That's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have found it informative. So please do like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.